They can go 30 miles per hour. That's a long one. Happy Saturday, YouTube! That is a lot of gasoline. Real quick, real quick, behind the scenes of budgeting with envelopes. <laughs> One, real quick. Dave Ramsey, if you uh, want to give us a cut of your <laughs> annual revenue, let us know because we are spreading the word. People are, people are joining in. Okay, here we go. We are notorious for destruction in this house. The holy family isn't even safe in this place. Sorry, sorry, Joseph. Sorry, St. Joseph. Uh-oh, 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 that's okay. It was good while it lasted. What did I just tell you about destruction at the Demore household? <laughs> Old Frisbee. <laughs> oh, man. bit of organization in the shed putting the sleds away for the I almost said the winter for the summer oh. I felt like yesterday's vlog remained a little too pie in the sky 30,000 foot view more philosophical than practical so I doing a little follow-up today to yesterday's vlog go check it out it was all about what to vlog if you're if you're stuck on I don't know what to film throughout my day, throughout my life. I'm going to show you some shots here today that will help you get ideas going. And next week, once again, I'm going to show you how I actually do it. But watch. Simple, right? Simple. Nothing too fancy about that shot. What am I conveying to you? What did I just film? I filmed my foot smashing a can, a beer can. Now, rather than drinking a beer for the vlog in front of you, I decided to show you that on this hot day, working out in the yard, in the shed, that I am enjoying a PBR. But rather than film the whole beer going down, which, you know, maybe you can do occasionally, just show the smashing. And then I use that moment of the smash to cue the music. So you, if you have picked up on this, kudos to you. Almost every single day, when I slam a door shut on the car, when I close the fridge in the office, those noises, those, you know, those noises, that is like the cue to get the music going again. And it basically just helps things move along so that I don't lose your guys' interest throughout a vlog. So I keep it enter as entertaining as possible. At least that's what I'm going for. So that was an example right there. Smash the beer can. Boom. Fire up the music. It's a little beyond my expertise. A little beyond my expertise. <laughs> I'm going to let somebody else... This is a little embarrassing. I don't know how to change a wiper blade. I mean, I probably could figure it out but it's not worth my time I'll just take it to the shop and they'll do it in like two seconds so I'm gonna divert but did you notice the b-roll shots that I had going over the last minute so basically when you're talking to the camera think in your mind okay what b-roll shots can I overlay on top of the talking to make the the footage more engaging to watch does that make sense so don't just talk but think okay let's get when you're thinking about vlogging put in your mind okay I just talked for one minute straight 
that means I want eight shots. No, let's say six shots. So one shot every 10 seconds that lasts for three to four seconds. All right. So that's what you, that's what you can do. All right. Good job. One, and now do it one more time. Two, and then one more. Sorry. One more. Yep. Watch me. Good job. <laughs> yep. No, I'll do it with you this time. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh. Out with the old, in with the new. Whoa. You know what this means. We got about five minutes left in the golden hour. Just trying to soak it up, create some eye candy for you. What to film? Think about eye candy. Attractive shots that make your eyeball go, whoa, that's what we're going for. Even though I'm just doing a simple task, water in the garden, that's all I'm doing here. But I wanna try and make it as eh, beautiful to watch as possible for you. That's all I'm doing, that's all I'm doing. So, all right, five minutes to go. I'm just trying to live life here <laughs> and be careful, but you know, I'm a risk taker. Um, about four years ago, I burned myself real bad. I'll tell you that story on the four year anniversary, which is coming up in about four weeks. It was insane. Well, I'm just living my life here, people, trying to communicate it to you through a video every single day. Hopefully you're enjoying it just a little bit. Working on the house about an hour ago, and as you know, we're going to paint the house this spring slash summer. Dropped the can holding the paint thinner. Paint thinner is horrible. I would actually recommend never buying it ever, ever, ever. <laughs> it's just way too toxic and way too serious. Well, I dropped the can. It splattered up, hit my leg and my arm. I'm not sure if you can see that there turn the light here boom so basically I'm gonna be fine I washed it off really quickly applying cold ice to it so it doesn't blister Ugh. don't mess with paint thinner remember I said that like a month ago well and be careful love you guys that was my day what did you film today all right all right we're gonna wrap her up right now seek beauty work hard love each other <laughs> take risks but calculated risks huh huh I almost forgot the question of the day. I'm back. Have you ever burned yourself? It's not a fun question. It could be a little burn, it could be a big burn. I had a buddy actually in college who, oh, it was just bad, you know, really full body burn. And he was one of the best runners in the entire nation. He, he almost made it to the Olympics in the 10K, but not quite. Uh, so, have you ever been burned? If you have been burned, you know, share your story below. I've been burned. I'm going to share that with you at some point in the vlog. All right, now we're done. <laughs>